welcome, it's Bethany here. Today's video is an oldie but a goodie. It's a one of my very first videos. Um, it's my baby strap flip-flops. I'm finally updating the video. So um, if you haven't made these yet, this is great, a great opportunity to try make these. They're perfect for babies. They're adorable for like photo shoots. Um, and they do stay on your baby's feet. So, you know, they could your baby could wear them. Um, so check the description for links to the yarn that I'm using, to the hooks that I'm using. Um, and you can also find a link to the written pattern that's free on my blog. So you'll be able to make other sizes. So let's get going. Okay, so we're going to get started working on these crochet baby flip-flops. Um, I've used a several different kinds of yarns over the years. Um, I have links in the description of yarns that will work. For these shoes but today I'm going to go back to the to the to the yarn that I used in the beginning with the very first ones um, this beautiful pinkish coral color and this uh, dove heather <clears throat> gray and it is Karen simply soft and be sure that you have a sharp darning needle for sewing the pieces together and then I'm using an F hook um, be sure to use the hook that allows you to achieve the gauge for this I don't have a specific gauge swatch just because the sole is so small that it's basically a gauge swatch, so instead of wasting your time on a gauge swatch, just work the sole, and then if it's the right size, then perfect, you're halfway done, and if it's not the right size, then you can pull it out and use a different sized hook. So if it's your sole is too small, you need to go up a hook size or two, and if it's too big, you need to go down a hook size. So you're going to start with your sole color, and mine is going to be gray. And I'm going to be making the three to six month size. I have other sizes on my blog. There's a link in the description. So check that out if you're wanting different sizes. And so to make the three to six month size, you're going to chain 11. And then you're going to single crochet three in the second chain from the hook. Then a single crochet in the next four stitches. Then work a half double crochet in the next chain. Then work a double crochet in the next three chains. And then in your very last chain, you're going to work seven double crochet stitches. So that has brought us all the way around to the other side of the chain. So you're going to repeat what you made, what you worked across the first side. You're going to work a double crochet in the next three chains. Then you're going to half double crochet in the next chain. Then you're going to work four single crochet stitches, one in each chain. Oops, I skipped one. And then you're going to join with that first single crochet. Okay, so that's round one. Moving on to round two, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet two in the next three stitches. So we're going to work an increase in the next three stitches. And now you're going to work nine single crochets up the side. So work a single crochet in the next nine stitches. So this brings us to the toe. 
So we're going to work two single crochet stitches in the next five stitches. So you're going to increase in the next five stitches around the toe. And then you're going to single crochet <clears throat> nine back down the other side. So work a single crochet in the next nine stitches. And that completes round two. So you're going to join with the slip stitch with that first stitch. See, and it looks like a little teeny sole. So we're going to work one more round. You're going to start with a chain one. So you're crocheting the same stitch and then work an increase in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that two more times. So single crochet in the next, increase in the next, single crochet in the next stitch, and then increase in the next stitch. Then you're going to work nine single crochet down the side. Now we're back up to the toe again, and you're going to work the same single crochet increase sequence that you did on the, the heel. So work a single crochet increase. And you're going to repeat that. You're going to work it a total of five times. Single crochet increase. Single crochet increase. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet nine down the side, single crochet in the next nine stitches, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch. Okay, so that completes the use of gray on the sole. You're going to clip your end. Okay, now you're going to grab your second color. Thought I had that all untangled, but apparently not. Okay, and then you can start anywhere. And what you're going to do, and I like to just start near the seam to keep the ends kind of in the same place. So you're just going to pull that through the stitch like so, and then you're going to slip stitch all the way around. One in each stitch. Now I do my slip stitches in two motions, <clears throat> so don't be confused that I'm working a a single crochet. I'm not working a single crochet. I'm working a slip stitch. I just can't really get it through in one motion. And it's like once you learn how to do it a certain way, you just you can't change. <laughs> it's just funny. So I am doing a slip stitch. You can see that it's a flat stitch around the top. So work slip stitches all the way around the sole. Okay, and when you get here, you get to your join <clears throat> take care that you're not working one in the join. So you can see that that's a real stitch and I'm working a slip stitch there. And then that's the join. If you work one there, you're going to have an extra stitch and it might throw the rest of the shoe off. Your your thing might be, um, your heel might not be exactly centered. So take care that you're not working it in the join, but you're working it in that last stitch. So that, that one slip stitch is just a little bit longer than the other ones because it's reaching over the join. But you want to make sure that you don't work another one in there, otherwise you'll have an extra stitch. Okay, so we've worked a round of slip stitches all the way around. And you can tie that off any way you want. I like to pull it out like that. And then pull it under through, like up the stitch and then through the first stitch and then pull it in and that kind of gives it more of a neater join right there. 
Okay, so weave in your ends and then we're going to start making it into a flip flop. Okay, so we have finished the sole and we are ready to turn it into an adorable little baby flip flop. So you're going to take your second color, the same color that you used to slip stitch around, <clears throat> and you're going to find the middle. I'm going to do that by just laying my hook down the middle, and that's the middle. So you're going to count eight to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> and that is where you're going to join your yarn. You're going to join by just pulling through the slip stitch, chain one, and then single crochet into that same stitch. Then you're going to single crochet into the next two slip stitches. And then that's the side. So to make the heel, you're going to chain eight. And then skip nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then to work that single crochet, you're going to leave the chain on your hook, put your hook into the slip stitch, yarn over, pull it through, and then finish the single crochet. And then work a single crochet in the next two slip stitches. And then you're going to work the piece that goes around the top of the foot. So you're going to chain 16. And you're going to turn your shoe, make sure that the chain doesn't get twisted. So there's the untwisted chain. You're going to kind of turn your shoe like this. And then you're going to join it with that first single crochet. And so that completes the first round of the baby flip-flop. So we're going to work one more round around so that it's um, a little more solid. So you're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch, and then you're just going to work a single crochet in every stitch around. And you can decide whether you want to work in both loops of the chain or not. Um, I prefer just to work in the back one, just because it's faster and easier, but if you prefer the look of working through both loops, then you can do that. Okay, and then we made it back to the beginning, so you want to slip stitch to that first stitch. And then that completes the body part of the slipper of the shoes. Okay, and now we're going to make... What is going on here? Okay, and now we're going to make the flap, the strap that goes across their foot. And you're going to do that with the, the same color as the bottom. So we're going to start with a chain 11. We'll start with a slip stitch and then start with a chain 11. Then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then you're going to single crochet in each remaining chain. Then you're going to turn. chain one and then work a half double crochet in each stitch. Okay and then that that completes the strap so you want to leave kind of a long tail because you're going to using it you're going to use it to sew it onto the shoe. So now we just need to sew everything together. Okay so we are ready to construct this baby shoe. So you can see on your strap it has one length of yarn on either side and so you can use those lengths of yarn to, to sew the strap onto the shoe. So using your darning needle
You're gonna, <clears throat> I like to lay it just right in front of where they connect. That seems to work the best as far as keeping them on baby's foot. So <clears throat> make sure you're taking care of where you're sewing it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sew it exactly like right up there. I'm gonna skip one stitch and sew it right there. And you can just do, um, I just do a running stitch. I just go up and down. And then you're going to repeat it for the other side. Make sure you're paying attention to which stitch that you sewed it into so that they're even. And then you're going to obviously want to weave in those ends. And now we just need to attach the toe. So you can either do pink and have it correspond with the, the like the top, the, the thong part of it. Or you can do it gray so that it corresponds with the bottom. I think either way look nice. Okay, so these flip-flops do have a left and a right. So if you remember when we worked the seven double crochet in the, the uh, last chain, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this fourth one is the middle one. So on the right flip-flop, you're going to work around this double crochet, the one to the very left of it. And for the left shoe, you're going to work around this one, the stitch to the very right of it. So I'm just going to make this be a right one. So I'm going to come up on the right side of that right double crochet of the middle one. And I'm just going to go around the flap. I'm not going to go in it. This is I'm just going on the underside of it. And then you don't want to pull it tight. I'm going to go back down, but I'm going to go back down on the other side of it. And you don't want to pull it tight. You don't want it all the way down. You just kind of want to leave it so that there's space for the toe to go. So you're going to leave it like loose. <clears throat> and then just continue going up and down a couple times until it feels like it's secure. So I went up but I didn't go under that. So you got to make sure you go under it so that you're actually securing it. Okay, and then once you're done, you can tie a firm knot on the back. Um, it's kind of hard to hide the ends on this tiny little shoe. Something that I've done is that I've tied just a teeny tiny knot, like a little teeny square knot, or even just half a square knot, like just do that. And then you can take just a teeny tiny little dab of hot glue and put it on either side and then clip the ends. And it leaves it kind of tiny, tiny little end that you have to deal with. And then that completes your flip-flop. So you need to finish weaving in your ends and then you repeat it for the other side. And be sure to remember 
that this is the left one and so on your next shoe you're going to work it around the double crochet on the other side of the middle and there you go i hope you enjoy these adorable little sandals and be sure to make them in every color and thank you so much for crocheting with me thanks for watching